In this video, I'll show you how to blur the number plate of a car or any other part of your video and track that part in CapCut. Let's get started. I have a video of a moving car in my media library with its number plate vividly displayed. To blur up this number plate, we'll start by dragging two copies of the clip down into the timeline directly on top of each other. The next thing I'll do is move over to effects and scroll down to the lens section. Under the lens section, drag the blur effect down to the top layer. If you're not okay with the strength of the blur, you can adjust by clicking on this slider right here and dragging to the right to increase the strength. Or if you want to reduce the strength, you can drag to the left. So once you're okay with the strength of the blur, the next thing we're going to do is unselect the effect and then tap on the top layer and move over to the top right corner and click on mask. We want to blur out just the number plate. So I'll click on this rectangle mask. After that, I can adjust to the size of the number plate, but you want to make sure that the playhead is at the beginning of the video. So let's drag this playhead to the beginning of the video and then we can adjust our mask. You can do that by using the four corners of the mask and then clicking on the mask to drag around. All right, so it's looking good. After we're done adjusting the size of the mask, move over to the top right corner again and click on this diamond button beside mask to add a keyframe. Once it turns blue, it has created a keyframe. Then we want to manually track our mask because CapCut doesn't have a feature to automatically track the mask. So I'll tap on spacebar to play the video and when the number plate becomes visible, I'll pause the video and then readjust the mask to cover it. You keep following, playing and repositioning your mask to make sure the number plate is always covered until we get to the end of the video. So I hope CapCut releases a feature to automatically track your mask in the future. But for now, just keep on moving, moving. I'll speed up the process so we are done covering. Now we are done repositioning the mask to cover the entire video. I'm just going to add three units of feathering to make the mask more aesthetically pleasing. Now let's replay the video to see how well we've masked out the number plates. Now, okay, I think we did a decent job tracking. All right, let me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.